I'm Ruben Massa and I'm the director of the Mays Cancer Center at UT Health San Antonio. And I also focus on uh, myeloproliferative neoplasms. Speaking today a little bit about a topic that is uh, inescapable these days in the news, and that's regarding the coronavirus or COVID-19. And specifically, what does that mean for patients with MPNs? Overall, we find that patients with MPNs are not necessarily more prone to infections such as cold, flus, or the coronavirus than the general population. So first, uh, what does that mean? Well, I think like everyone in the general population, there's a tremendous amount of anxiety as this virus you know, travels more around the, the world and, and more into the U.S. And I think we'll learn more as, as time evolves. Uh, overall, uh, the main thing you need to know is you know, good techniques for trying to avoid illnesses like colds and flus are the sorts of things that we know that are helpful with the coronavirus. So the most important single thing that the Center for Disease Control has really identified is, is good hand washing. Good hand washing technique uh, and really a washing when out in public, things of that nature are always helpful without question. Second, clearly if you start to become sick, if you're feeling ill, certainly notify your primary care physician. I think we'll find over the days to come how prevalent this uh, illness is going to become in the U.S. At the current time, the number of cases is still relatively small. So if you feel like you have a cold or flu, most likely you have the cold or flu. You likely do not have the coronavirus. But that may be evolving over time as the disease may or may not become more prevalent. Uh, we are fortunate that we are now in March and that the typical pattern of these sorts of illnesses before as they have spread around the world is that they will tend to uh, really become more dormant or become in much smaller groups of people as people are outside more as it becomes spring uh, and typically die down by May or June. So hopefully that will be the case uh, but overall just uh, wash your hands try to use good common sense uh, avoiding people that are actively ill. Now there are individuals with MPNs that are more susceptible to infections, uh, patients that have low blood counts, patients that have had a bone marrow transplant, patients with severe myelofibrosis or acute leukemia. For, for you individuals, I would suggest during this high point of concern to really avoid big crowded places, uh, malls, uh, things of that nature, and again, to use good common sense if you're feeling any signs or symptoms of an infection, to let your primary care doctor know. But I'm hopeful that uh, all of this will get under control soon. And again, just good common sense.